up, YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to make bacon wrap hot dogs on the George Foreman Grill. Alright, so this is the George Foreman Grill. It's one of the cheap ones, but this is all you need. It's pretty small, but this is all you need right here. Um, you're going to need a few couple of ingredients. You're going to need the hot dogs. I'm using Farmer John. I like this bacon. Some bacon. And then for your taste, I'm going I'm to grill also some onions, some grilled onions. And then, of course, your bread and cheese and ketchup and all that good stuff. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to prepare these. You grab a, a hot dog, and then you grab a strip of bacon. You're going to want to use just one strip for each hot dog. So you just basically wrap it around like so. And a lot of people use toothpicks and stuff like that to hold it together. You don't need all that stuff. Um, once it's cooking, the uh, the bacon usually just stays stuck onto the weenie. So that's how it should look. I have two ready. I'm going I'm gonna to go ahead and just do two at a time, but... I usually do five at a time, but just just to show you guys, I have this already cooking. It's been on for at least five minutes, so let's go ahead and throw these bad boys on there. Hear that? That's the way it should sound. That. Yeah, never put oil when you're using the, the George Foreman girl. A lot of people say you need oil. Don't ever put oil. So I'm going to go ahead and close these and check check on them in about two minutes. Okay, it's been two minutes, so let's go ahead and check up on these. Wow, look at that. So what I'm basically going to do is just flip them on their side. Like so. And also what I was going to do is grab a couple of these onions right here. Just put them on the side right there. Give them another two minutes. Okay, it's been another two minutes. So let's go ahead and check up on them. Yep. So, a lot of people might just eat them like that. I like mine well done. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn them another, another time. Wherever it looks like they haven't been hit. And these onions are looking good. Let's go ahead and move them. Make sure they're not stuck. And, um, yeah go ahead and give them another two minutes but it it's up to you if you like them the way they are you go ahead and throw them on a bun and they're good to go but let's go ahead and give them another two minutes see what happens in the last two minutes so let's go ahead and check up on these they look about done right there so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is um i'm gonna take these weenies out put them out here i'm gonna let the onions sit a little longer you know and what i usually do i just grab a i grab a, a slice of cheese right here And my bread right here and I just put a little little cheese on it like that and then just throw it on here and close it for about I don't know 30 seconds 30 seconds for our bread that's perfect right there should probably use the oh yeah it's hot you should probably use the tons for this so let's go ahead yep that's doesn't get any better than that throw your and you just throw some ketchup on there. Yeah. Can't forget the onion. Throw some of that onion on in there. That's perfect right there. Now if you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this. And I'll let you know how it is. Yeah, this this some good stuff right here. All right, man. There, it already has a bite. It's gonna look dumb. <laughs> With cheese, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs>